Well, because what was cool about Airborne was that the uh, the writers and the directors and and the and the and the producers of that movie were very uh, open to just like showcasing what we did as a core, and like and captured that within the movie without any fluff, you mm -hmm. know. And then we were really we were really uh, conscious of. Uh, of not making anything look super unrealistic like you know like the you like like the last jump at the end where I jump into the back of that bed I stomped it a couple of times right but it just didn't like it didn't look real mm -hmm. you know because it was so big like, and it kind of like just to go down and slide out oh so you landed that a few times I did yeah nice. yeah <laughs> yeah Damn, uh, but I, and, and they wanted to go with the other one. I I, I kind of wanted to. I kind of like that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. because the um because the first handful, dude. I, I mean, I'll, I mean the first one, dude. I had so much adrenaline, like I'm like sprinting. Did you actually run on a car for that? No, that, there okay. was a little bit of there was a little bit of Hollywood trickery. Okay. Okay, but I was curious I how was much. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was, like, I was curious the same thing okay, too. Okay, but but the gap and everything else was real. Yeah, okay, for sure. So like, it, it was wild because we actually put uh up on the top we put a um like a a, a U-Haul. Opened up the U-Haul, right? I started in the back of the U-Haul to a little, a little ramp, or just a a, a a landing to roll across, and then be able to take it up and over yeah. everything, right? Wow. So like, uh, so that was nice and clean. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to be, tri dude. That that shit was high. Ah. Like, I don't need to be tripping. Who, <laughs> who picked that? Like, who, uh, who thought that was a good yeah, idea? Yeah, yeah. Like, was, yo, jump over this. Yeah, yeah. No, the um, who choreographed uh, it or whatever. Right? Steve Boyum, dude. Steve Boyum was a madman. The the second unit director. He was just an absolute madman. Mm -hmm. Like he, uh, they did like Days of Thunder and like you know flip themselves in cars at 100 miles an hour. So like Whoa. anything that I'd be like, he's like, dude, I. I, I uh, mm -hmm. uh, just shut up, Edwards, and get in there and do it. You got it, man. Yeah. Don't waste my time. I flipped cars. I'm like, okay, dude, you're yeah. right. I got this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you flipped was cars. There any, was there anything that didn't make it that like was completely at, like off the wall? Um, but probably a lot of you know, you know, like like anything. You guys know, like uh, as editors, and you know mm -hmm. that a lot of a lot of stuff ends up on the floor, yeah, as yeah, they yeah. say. You know, yeah. um, but or just stuff where like he, he like had an idea to do something, and you're like, that's not physically possible. There's no way. Um, I can't like off the hand because like uh, most of the stuff that like he worked really well with us. He didn't like, mm -hmm. you know, okay. if I was, you know, and if I was like, dude, come on, dude, like now you're now you're totally like, yeah, yeah. Out, of, out of the zone. <laughs> but like, you know, like, I mean, the, that that big jump at the end going into that thing, it was like, whew. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, boy, I'm my guess, bro. But like it was gnarly because like the um, we're up on the third floor of a parking structure. And then uh, the, the I mean, if coming off of the off of the uh off of the actual truck there's you know a down ramp and i mean that was like a 40 50 foot drop and then i'm up on the top here with like you know just the driveway length of of, of the ramp spitting mm. out from underneath level the level below me and that's mm. like a 60 foot drop mm. so i'm like up on the top with like and i couldn't see i couldn't see like all i could see from the back of the truck dude was like the, the, the parking lot mm. way the hell out yeah. there like 50 60 foot down we had to put we had to like set somebody up in the scene sorry. i'm sorry. No, sorry we had we had to um we had to set somebody up in the scene like holding a flag like they look like it was part of the construction right that's why they kind of made it the construction oh, yeah. thing i was like I, I need a marker like i can't i'm oh, not jumping this without a marker so they're like we'll set up a construction scene okay great set oh, it shit. up and send the put the dude with the flag in the air so that i that's so that's what i could see so Sick. that was like, I was that's like cool. okay yeah. i'm aiming for that flag and man, the first time I did a deal, I was like, I'm aiming for that flag. <laughs> and like almost overshot the thing. I was about dude. to say. Yeah, almost yeah. overshot yeah. everything. Like, I mean, I just got a very little piece of that, that, uh, uh of the, of the, End of the, of the incline mm -hmm. of the truck. You know, wow. I got just a little piece and I ate shit bad. Like, <laughs> uh, you know, and then, uh, and then I tried to like fine tune it a little bit, and then I think the I think the one that actually made it was the second jump. So I like I I took the gas off because my brain is just like wild the way my brain works. I have to go 100 first, mm -hmm. and then come backwards. I don't go like let's try it at 20. Okay, now 30. Yeah. Like I'm just like full hey, ready, guys, mm -hmm. man. Fucking put the gas on. Yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was way too much. And then I had to back it down. Uh, it's just like that's just the way my brain works. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um. <laughs> Like a, kind of like in everything, dude. Sure. I'm, I'm an idiot. But uh, <laughs> no, dude. nah, man, it's just like intense. Man. That's passionate. But uh, yeah. so I'm, uh, I, I back it down a bit. And I believe that that's the one that like made the cut. So I backed it down a little bit, but the 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 the, 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 the sheer pressure just kind of buckled my legs, you know, and like and then mm -hmm. shot me to my ass. But I spit out of it really cool looking. Mm -hmm. And so then it was just like, man, we, that's like 
we got to use that one. Mm -hmm. Then I went back up and, and pulled the gas back a little bit more and just landed a couple for the sake of landing mm -hmm. it. But mm -hmm. I didn't like it wasn't it was because it, it was dialed down a little it bit. Wasn't it wasn't just as like, like like. It didn't, it didn't look as gnarly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's all, it's all about the cin that cinematic that movie. Yeah. 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 And, then, and then, like, we really wanted it to feel realistic. So, like, yeah. you know, that's probably what would have happened. Yeah. If you got lucky in the race and yeah. jumped that, yeah. 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 then if you, yeah. if you pulled that off and spit out to your face, uh, back onto your feet and was able to roll, then, you know, you're a rock star. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, it, it, it fit nice. Um, you know, so it was... That, that filming for that movie, I mean, that part was incredible, but filming for that movie in general must have been quite an experience because like you're like one of the main stunt guys mm -hmm. but you're also acting in yeah, like this right. serious movie with like jack black <laughs> yeah with um you know seth, seth green, green yeah. there's like all these chris conrad yeah and, yeah all, all these McDermott. serious yeah, yeah sure yeah so like jacob vargas dude jacob vargas i love jacob vargas snake dude like yes yeah, snake. Yeah, yeah. snake is tired yes yeah, snake's the best dude. yeah like you no, know what like, i mean like how, jacob vargas is uh, like he was my favorite character was it was there any like you know pressure like with all like this, cause like pretty much this entire film like rests on your shoulders in like multiple ways. Like, um, just as like the main stunt guy to deliver all this skating. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then you're also like one of the main, you know, I, you know, one of the main actors in the movie. Yeah. Well, so I mean, I wasn't was quite, about? I wasn't quite a main actor. No, not a main so. actor, but, yeah, you, but you I had, had an some yeah. lines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I did. Right. You're Which like was the, cool. The main enemy is like best buddy. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah Walt. Jack. Walt. Walt. That was Walt. Walt. Jack's, yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, so I would imagine like I don't know that like, one got to be an exciting time like oh my god everything's coming together because yeah. of skating yeah and then two just like I don't know did you feel any pressure during that time I, I think that uh, you know like I was still I was still a bit young right and so like you know when you're young uh, you know you still got that like over the top self confidence and it sure. was just I just I loved rollerblading so the the opportunity to be able to showcase rollerblading. And the fact just drunk with confidence because it's yeah, just like everything's right. working like, out. Let's right? do this. Let's yeah. do this, man. Uh, you know, and then and let's then, go. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm and I'm backed, sure. I'm backed by Jess Darenforth and right. Pat Parnell and like you know like mm -hmm. and Angie and like you know there's yeah. there's people behind the me. The energy's that, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's people behind me that are like there to help and like like because yeah, it was it was it was all of our dreams. Like let's mm -hmm. let's make let's make something. Like let's let mm -hmm. we have an opportunity here to make like an international like culture from mm -hmm. from like a from scratch yeah. you know so we're cultivating the earth together mm -hmm. and so like all of it was just like a mission like it was more like a mission yeah than anything yeah you're all working together for this yeah. one cause yeah mm -hmm. let's do this did, yeah. did, like, like this is so freaking awesome this feeling that you get from this like has to be shared mm -hmm. yeah like other people gotta feel this like this is like this is no joke mm -hmm. totally. this stuff feels so good mm -hmm. you know for sure especially like uh, with the yeah energy back then like it being like everything coming together and it working out and yeah. like you know like people responding well to it mm. and yeah. like the mainstream yeah. of the world and society in general yeah. oh dude that's a world like, so far into us now yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a gigantic bowl of wild sauce like just like <laughs> what, the, what the hell's happening right. here <laughs> you guys are so like you know young in this game as well yeah so it's yeah, of course, man. A lot man. of trial and error, right? Uh, well, on the skating side, for sure, you know? Sure. And then probably, uh, you know, being young, there was, you know, probably a lot of, like, you know, getting exploited and getting our butts kicked. But, you know, whatever. That's just part of life, you know? You learn as you as you go. But mm -hmm. um, but also we have, like, great and awesome, like, opportunities. So Yeah. And, I mean, like, uh, here we are, man, 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Still we're, we're talking about it, right? I know, right? Who would have I mean, I mean, thought back then dude, that you would be good, here man. doing God's this God's good, dude. Mm -hmm. I couldn't be more proud. I couldn't. Yeah. I would be remiss. I, I kind of have a personal, if you don't mind. Yeah. Yeah, just because, like, I don't want, I know when we move on to the next subject, we're going to be in, into 95. And we're yeah. going to leave these things behind. Mm -hmm. But, man, Airborne for me was such, like, a pivotal film. And um, obviously the end race was super cool. Yeah. But there are a couple of scenes I was curious about. Um, like, one, there's that scene where you're, like, skating with everyone, and you kind of start, they all start following you down the block. Yeah, yeah. And then the, you kind of grind this yeah. rail, and then you, you jump down all these stairs mm -hmm. at the end. Well, I wanted to, one, know what that was like. And also, two, did you have any, like, cool experiences with um, teaching some of these guys to skate, like Jack Black, Seth Green, some of these guys who were, like, trying to figure it out, or yeah. or if any of them had, like, a natural knack for inline or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. 
Um, well, I mean, skate, do, doing the skate scene, I, like we really knew, like I, if you, you, you asked me earlier if there was any pressure, I'd say that like the, I did feel a lot of pressure during that skate scene because uh, not the downhill, the downhill is one thing, you're like downhill's downhill, so like, sure. you know, you're just hauling ass and like, it's, it's awesome. Right. Um, but like the, the skate scene though, like I really felt the pressure to be able to portray what we've been trying to portray and make sure that it like came across. So, I mean, it was, I definitely was, uh. I, I felt the need to like really do just give it my all on in all of that and and really try to like give a, a a a vast collection of things that you could do on on a pair of skates through that scene yeah you know and, yeah and I, try I, to not duplicate a trick that and, comes across you know, actually like, and yeah not it was really creative trick. Yeah. so like like let's give them a little wall ride for pop you can do that let's yeah. give them a grind you can okay. do that let's give them a wall ride like yeah. up and over big wall ride yeah. let's give them some vert you yeah, know yeah, like yeah. like and then let's give them a little like jumping jumping like you no, know that like, was a great job it was with like that. it was yeah. like it was yeah. uh, like we it was really important to us to to craft that because we knew mm -hmm. the significance of uh, of this of this particular film going into into all of the theaters like this was I feel like that one got a lot bro. of kids on skates well, it did yeah, yeah, it, yeah it really it did. did it did yeah. and then and then we knew that if we were going to have a cult classic this was probably going to be it for sure you know and then like even even like uh, I mean even like 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 Brink this still Airborne is like it's become our. I've cult never classic. seen Brink. I've never seen. And Brink's Brink. great too. Yeah. There's a lot of great it's skating Airborne in it and everything. Me. But yeah. like, but Airborne is the cult classic. That, you know. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. It's our gleaming the cube. You know. Yeah. Like it's it, it just is. And they were really conscious of like the way they um, dressed everybody. Mm -hmm. Like the even even down to the 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 wardrobe department was like we're gonna make sure that this is a timeless film. We're gonna like keep the way we dress everybody like real timeless. And you can th go back and watch it. Like it, it's almost like you're still there today. Like because mm -hmm. they did a really great job with they the did. with the wardrobe and everything. There was no over the top loud '90s colors mm -hmm. that, uh, that, sure. that yeah, was yeah. being influenced yeah. at that time. Mm -hmm. All right, like in in '90 early '90s was neon everywhere. But if you look at Airborne, man, the 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 wardrobe people and the way everyone took this movie was like like unparalleled, probably, mm -hmm. you know. And and so you can look; it was like really mellow, muted colors everywhere. Yeah, and I remember like, like black you know, hoodie, like a dark blue shirt. Or something <coughs> yeah, like and that. then like whatever, it was just a red, simple red sweatshirt that like stood out, right? Yeah. You know, like front that Mitchell Goosen or yeah. Shane Shane was wearing. You know, like so that that was just like. It was awesome, you yeah. know, to be a part of that. For it was sure. Incredible. And then, like, yeah, there was times like you know when we first met up with everybody, teaching everyone how to skate and get going. You know, Shane was pretty decent at skating already. Like he could he could roll. Mm -hmm. You know, like you know he was able to do a lot of his own own stuff. Like just like at least like rolling up the camera. Or just, some like, of the fakey skating. stuff. I saw some of the fakey you know, like, stuff. If he was, was able to skate. Sure. He could skate. Yeah. You know. Um, uh, uh, Chris Conrad definitely could skate. Mm -hmm. Uh, he looked like a natural Chris Conrad. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. just an athlete, right? Yeah, like, he looks he's like just it. an athlete. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and then uh, I don't know the uh, Jacob Vargas. He could roll. I mean, a lot of everyone could roll. The twins rolled pretty good. Like, mm -hmm. so we all went and you know, we were able to teach everybody. And most everyone held held their own. Really, that's cool. You man. know, I mean, even you know, and Jack Black. Jack Black is like like a hidden athlete, dude. Like like I don't know. He's made an. Uh, is he? Well, I, I do really like take a look at Jack Black's career and just like just kind of take a look at Jack Black. But you gotta kind of respect the dude. Like, oh he's, man, he's, he's like like he's weirdly, you know, like he's like he's utilized his like like the shape for pure comedy. But then like you watch some of the stuff that he does, dude, and he's just like a he's a freaking athlete. Yeah, like, he's just awesome. And then on top of that, you know, his music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tenacious D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a, it's just like his that brain, dude. Very, very multi -talented. Jack Black's brain is yeah. ridiculous, dude. It's like Meat Loaf. It was fun influence. hanging out yeah, with yeah. him. <laughs> so kind of looks like Meat Loaf. <laughs> right. yeah. It was fun doing the movie with him. He would always be, like, he would always make everybody laugh, right? I mean, yeah. he's, he's Jack Black. And he was Jack Black back then, too. Yeah. You know? That's I think that was what's really great about Jack, too, is, like, like knowing him then and then seeing him now, like, it's the same Jack Black. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he's just, like, He's maintained true, right? It's that's really cool though that like everyone was able to take to skating too, and yeah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, like yeah. and like you know, kind of, it's like the one time where you kind of pull that world into our culture. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And they are kind of like new to ours when like in there, you know. Yeah. Right, right. So mm -hmm. that's a really cool experience. Yeah, that. it was awesome. It was awesome, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, I think my uh, lucky stars, man, to be uh, be here today.